my type of a hair, it's um, really, uh, how to say, pretty demanding because my hair is thin, I have a lot of hair, it becomes uh, super greasy with the roots like in, in a day or two and then the tips, they become dry. So to find a proper product, it's kind of a challenge uh, to me. And especially when the Corona times with uh, my own uh, painting and like finding the best possible color to do it at home, I made it worse because I actually painted the whole thing and I dried out the tips even worse. Uh, so after going back to the hairdressers was uh, way better but after finding proper products and guess what the topic is today it's about Olaplex we discovered through uh, online research what to use when your hair becomes uh, dry damaged uh, especially for the type of hair that I was describing about myself and uh, Olaplex um, after the reviews it actually showed out that it could be one of the best options for um, solving out my hair trouble. You can see how my hair is uh, softer, shinier. I'm a little bit joking, but actually it's true. I am pleasantly surprised. I have to say that because of my type of work, that uh, with uh, all the time wearing the surgical hats, um, having the hair like pressed down, sweating a lot. I was all the time having this heavy feeling, greasy feeling in the roots and this was super uncomfortable to me. So researching the, the webpage of Olaplex, I saw that they have uh, really a lot of products there. They are numbered, which is great. So I could go through each of the number there. They have for the home usage. They have available from zero till nine. One and two are reserved for the saloon. And I decided that for me, it might work four of their products. And this is, first of all, a hair perfector. This is called number three. Then the second one, I had to choose a shampoo and uh, from the options that they had, they have three type of shampoo. One is the normal one, number four, then is this, which is called 4C. It's actually bond maintenance clarifying shampoo. Third one is for the blonde hair, which I'm not. I'm darker hair by nature, becoming a, a lot of gray uh, with my age. Uh, so it's really important that I have it fresh, uh, nicely how to say smoothened uh, washed otherwise the gray hair here after three to four weeks like now it's about five weeks since i did the painting uh, with a hairdresser just the roots and it's really shown especially with the greasy hair so this shampoo is really great it does what it needs to do the i wash my hair every second day after finishing and drying my hair it gives me this um, vibe of like my hair is uh, with a volume it's kind of uh, very soft clean fresh um, it doesn't have a strong smell which i really like because i like to use perfume and also Probably as much everybody's talking, like on the face, uh, also on the scalp, the perfumes can be pretty irritating. I always uh, put shampoo two times in a row. I put it in the hand, I put it then a little bit of water and on the hair, and I massage it well, and then I also rinse it well. And then I repeat it for the second time. For the second time, I leave it there for a few minutes if I have time, because sometimes I'm in a rush. So I just really wash it well and and rinse it well here otherwise it's stated to leave it for five minutes and i'm honest i don't rarely leave it for five minutes um, maybe two three minutes but it works they are stating here that you should continue with either the conditioner or masks i don't have masks um, i will probably try it i am curious to see how it is um, but the conditioner also is great perfect for my hair it is called bond maintenance conditioner i usually leave conditioners longer than the shampoos for this one um, i put it like all over i also go near the scalp and it doesn't do any how to say heavy feeling or when the hair is dry the, sometimes with conditioners not just with the mask the mask at all i i was putting it just on the tips 
but uh, with the conditioners they're stating usually that you can put it all, all over the hair but I had really bad experiences that my hair felt like not washed like super greasy even when I washed all the conditioner out and this one is not like this this one actually leaves the hair super silky super velvety soft I can do this I, I know how, when my hair is okay when I actually rub it around my finger and it does the how to say it bends really smooth and it's not like uh, crunchy so if this combination of the the clarifying shampoo and this conditioner perfect and I am always blow drying my hair with a medium heat and uh, after the, the drying the hair is already great and I could just leave it but I decided to add another product because the tips then become super dry quick I decided to put uh, number seven which is bonding oil the the feeling um, doesn't leave the hair oily because many of the oils that I tried and used they had this like greasy feeling immediately when you put it on and if you if it was like here for these tips like closer to the face I had the greasy scalp and face feeling and this one not at all I put just few drops I can actually show it to you like this like this that's enough I gently massage it in the hand and then I grab the hair and I just put it around I'm not sure if this is correct by the hairdressers but it works for me this gives this really nice touch and the oils they are there you see my hands are oily but the feeling on the the hair not at all greasy so thumbs up for this i would actually recommend all the products for all the hair types this one the hair perfector i put once per week and this one is strengthening the hair i have the feeling that the hair is thicker a lot more elastic Mm, how to say like really like a reborn the hair then the shampoo I would say the clarifying shampoo uh, the one from my experiences is uh, for people who have a lot of like feeling of um, greasy dirty hair and uh, the others the blonde ones maybe they could try the the blonde shampoo and uh, for everybody else they could go for the normal four number four and the uh, conditioner also they are stating and i could say with the, the experiences um, that it could be for actually or hair types i'm curious like i already said to you that to try the the mask because masks i think they are richer from what i had till now um, if i put too much or too close to the scalp my hair like didn't like it that's why i didn't use it and i said the first the first batch of this olaplex i could tr uh, i will go better for conditioner than for the mask thingy uh, and then with the oils i would say that can be put on all the hair types but especially if you have dry tips this is gonna help you out they have another product which is like um, number six but i cannot tell an opinion uh, it's not an oil i am i don't know how they call it but this is also like could be a leave-in uh, product before blow drying so and uh, they have also a serum number nine uh, and the mask is number eight so uh, I am absolutely uh, thrilled with the product. I'm not overreacting. I really love the feeling when the hair is fluffy, voluminous, uh, silky, elastic, and these products help me out a lot with uh, rebuilding the hair. And I got also good feedbacks from other people on the job, especially they notice, they say, oh my God, your hair is so shiny. Um, it looks so healthy. At the end, um, I'm gonna go for more of their products. Um, I used in three to four weeks that I'm using them. I used like one third of the products. I will for sure reorder all four of them. And uh, the price, is not cheap it was about a little bit less than 30 euro per each of them but i would say that they are they are worth the price and also you don't use so much of this product so it's really a good investment to do so this was it for today my own experiences with uh, olaplex we would be more than happy to hear your comments about these products if you have any other experiences if you recommend something else to try the way you use it so if you want to hear about 
about more products let us know and we're going to decide if this is something that we really want to try on us we will for sure go for it and we're going to try it and review it for you and put a uh, very honest feedback also uh, about these products and about many other topics you can research more in our blog and podcast you can also listen to us not just see us sometimes in the car it's very good i'm a very devoted listener to podcasts right now and uh, this is all available in feelingsfromablurrynote.com uh, and of course press the subscribe button press the like if you like what you heard here below in the descriptions we're gonna put the links to the web page listed and also to all the social media we have and see you in the next one ciao